Get Smart Class 4, Module 6, Getting Around, page 62 and 63. The objectives of these lessons are to read a text and talk about different means of transport. Let's say the words. Motorbike. Motorbike. Tourists. Let's talk about the pictures. This chair is comfortable. This chair is comfortable. This bird is exciting. This bird is exciting. The tortoise is slow. The tortoise is slow. Module 6. Our world. Vocabulary. Motorbike. Wheel. Taxi. Comfortable. Exciting. Tourist. Slow. Module 6. Our world. Vocabulary. Motorbike. Wheel. Taxi. Comfortable. Exciting. Tourist. Slow. How many different means of transport do you know? Aeroplane. Train. Lorry. Sheep. Bus. And car. Children, you can pick up a piece of paper and list down the means of transport that you know. You can also have a race with your family members to list out these means of transport. Attention to the pictures. What are these means of transport? Is it a sampan, a boat, or a gondola? How about this? Is it a motorbike, van, or tuk-tuk? Mm, this is a helicopter, snowmobile, or a plane. Student, now you are going to listen to the text and you will have to match the pictures with the correct text. 1. How many different means of transport do you know of? Listen and read. Then match. Social studies. Different means of transport. 1. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. 2. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy to get from one place to another. Gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. 3. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. They have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. It can get very cold on a snowmobile. 
Let's read again the text. Social studies. Different means of transport. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. Gondolas are long boats. In the past, people used them in Venice, Italy. To get from one place to another, gondolas are very slow. Riding in a gondolas isn't very comfortable, but tourists love it. People ride snowmobiles on snow. Snowmobiles haven't got wheels. They have got skis. They can go very fast. Snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. can get very cold on a snowmobile. Children, please share the read. Now, let's answer some comprehension questions. 1. What does a tuk-tuk look like? It looks like a motorbike with three wheels. 2. Where does the driver sit? The driver sits in the front. 3. How many people can sit in the back? 2 to 3 people can sit in the back. 4. Why do tourists take tuk-tuk in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis and riding in tuk-tuks is fun and exciting too. 5. What are gondolas? They are long boats. 6. Why did people ride gondolas in the past? They rode gondolas because they wanted to get from one place to another. 7. Where do people ride gondolas? They ride gondolas in Venice, Italy. 8. Are gondolas fast? No, they aren't. They are slow. 9. Is riding a gondola comfortable? No, it isn't. 10. Do tourists like gondolas? Yes, they do. 11. What do people ride snowmobiles on? They ride snowmobiles on snow. 12. Have some snowmobiles got wheels? No, they haven't. They have got skis. 30. Are snowmobiles slow? No, they aren't. 
they can go very fast. 40. What do snowmobile drivers have to wear? They have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes. Read again the text and tick. Number one, it has got wheels. The transport is tuk tuk. Two, it's a kind of boat. The transport is gondolas. Three, it hasn't got wheels. They are gondolas and snowmobile. Four, it's slow. It is gondolas. Five, drivers have to wear warm clothes. It is snowmobile. Number six, tourists take it. They are tuk tuk and also gondolas. Three. Listen and number one to four. One. Travelling by is really fast. It's a lot of fun too. I travelled to France last month. I sat next to the window. It was really cool to be up in the sky. I felt like a bird. Everything below looked so small. Two. I don't like travelling by. Last summer we went on holiday to an island. The weather was really bad and it was very windy. It was really scary. My mum said it was okay but I don't like the water and I don't know how to swim. 3. I like travelling by. It's really comfortable and fast. You see houses, people and animals on the way. Once, we went through the mountain and suddenly everything went black. That was scary. 4. Travelling by is really good in the city. It is faster than a car and it's easy to get from one place to another. You have to wear a helmet and watch out for cars. Now, let's listen again and check your answers. 3. Listen and number 1 to 4. 1. Travelling by is really fast. It's a lot of fun too. I travelled to France last month. I sat next to the window. It was really cool to be up in the sky. I felt like a bird. Everything below looked so small. 2. I don't like travelling by. Last summer we went on holiday to an island. The weather was really bad and it was very windy. It was really scary. My mum said it was okay but I don't like the water and I don't know how to swim. 3. I like travelling by. It's really comfortable and fast. You see houses, people and animals on the way. Once, we went through the mountain and suddenly everything went black. That was scary. 4. Travelling by is really good in the city. It is faster than a car and it's easy to get from one place to another. You have to wear a helmet and watch out for cars. Let's learn grammar. Riding in tuk-tuk is fun. Riding. We use ing form of a verb at the beginning of a sentence as the subject. This is called gerund. For example, Travelling by plane is really fast. Playing 
The piano is my hobby. Jogging is a good exercise. Traveling, playing, jogging, which is the verb with ing at the beginning of sentences as the subjects. Now, let's do some exercise. Make true sentences. Travel, play, go, buy, the, to, gondola, school, bike, guitar, snowmobile, is, fun, exciting, slow, comfortable. True sentences. Children, have you done yours? Let's chat with me. 1. Travelling by gondola is slow. 2. Playing the guitar is fun. 3. Going to school is exciting. 4. Travelling by bike is slow. Traveling by snowmobile is comfortable. That's all for today's lesson. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.